It's 5.30 a.m. Sunday morning. We had a taxi booked for five. But as the time was drawing nearer to leave, I did a bit of research and the weather was going to be terrible in Greece. And I don't know, I just thought, you know, we don't get an opportunity to go away as a family that often, maybe every few years. So I just did a bit of research and I found out that for the same kind of price, we could all go to Egypt for the week in a four-star hotel. And let's just like, let's just do it. Let's just, let's just do a week in Egypt. Talk about crazy, spontaneous decisions. Darcy, what do you think of the change of plans? I think it's awesome. And didn't you go to Egypt before? Yeah, in year six, um, in the spring holidays, I visited for two weeks by myself. 11 years old, she went to Egypt by herself. That's what I'm talking about. I slept like three hours. I stayed up like pretty much all night trying to finish some work off before we go away. So we're just getting the last few things ready to fly to Egypt, as I said, and um, my dad's just spotted this quite disturbing um, thing on the BBC News website. So, um, they had taken to the streets to protest against the ruling party, the Muslim Brotherhood. It's Their chants calling for the a fall. A big protest the happening. But by nightfall, violence had broken out between police and protesters. And then I went to the uh, Foreign Office website and um, it says uh, it advises against all but essential travel to parts of the country. So uh, this could be quite an adventure. We could, we could literally be landing in a war zone. My dad's going to um, make us some lunch. What are you making, uh, Dad? Well, we were going to go on holiday this morning, but it's been uh, delayed. Later yeah, yeah sorry about that. I kind of <laughs> so we, we've cleared the fridge. We've done anything. We've got eggs. Thrash them in there initially, because uh, and always put them in a always put them in a thing there. Just whisk them together. The secret about a good omelet: add a bit of water in it. Really? It's all soft and fluffy and, and, and rice. And um, hot fat. And um, whatever you guys to throw on top, I think we'll have cheese. Anything else you can throw in. Roasted tomatoes. Nice. Smells alright. My good. dad's teaching me how to cook. This is great, I should probably cook more. Any other secret ingredients? Um, Maybe we could try some Nutella or some raspberry jam. Darcy's up. The omelette. The omelettes are all made now. Good job, Dad. A good family lunch before we get all our stuff together. And I'm just finishing off some very important editing work. Where are we going, Darcy? Egypt. Oh, uh, yeah. So Steve's arrived. He's going to give us a lift to the airport with all our bags and stuff. And uh, we're maybe flying into some kind of war zone. Have you got a passport? Yeah, I've got mine. Yeah. Wallet. Yeah, yeah. Have you got your stuff, Darcy? Yeah. Mum? I think so. <laughs> Dad? Right. You got your stuff, Steve? You coming with I us? Got all my stuff. Right. Okay, cool. Thanks for the lift, Steve. Yeah. Oh. What a legend. What a legend. Let's grab our stuff. You excited, Darcy? Yeah. Well, this is probably the first time in history that our family are early for something. So we're just sitting around and we're able to have a, we're able to have a meal before we get on the plane. So we've got um, a nice ale pie. And that's a steak and ale pie. Some kind of chicken burger thing. Wedges. Homemade wedges. Oh, yeah. my bag at the restaurant in the terminal and I've boarded my plane or I'm about to and I completely forgot it so my bag's been left in the airport with all my clothes in for the week which is really annoying and they can't help me out and they said I won't be able to get on the plane if I run back for an hour so so I haven't got my bag anymore I think it's gonna be disposed of but um, it's kind of liberating traveling uh, super light
Yeah. Nice flight, Darcy. Yeah. As we got off the plane, I had forgotten my um, my jumper, and uh, I then realised it must be extreme fatigue causing my memory loss. Lost my bag, almost lost my jumper. We've landed in Zurich, Switzerland, and we're going to have a few, a few hours kick in a hotel nearby before catching our next flight, connecting flight to Egypt. I've had some people tweet me telling me that um, there's a bit of unrest in Cairo at the moment and it's dangerous. This is the hotel we're staying in, Movenpick Hotel Zurich. This is a very swanky hotel. I can't believe, I can't believe I've got no clothes. No clothes at all. But you've got what you're wearing. Yeah, only the clothes I'm wearing. Oh. oh right, we're gonna go to sleep, wake up early and catch a, um, a plane to Cairo. So, it's been a kind of weird day of commuting today and uh, losing all my clothes. Anyway, peace out.